Saudi Arabia, the only remaining bid for the 2034 Men's World Cup after Australia dropped out. Gab, it's not a surprise. And they can only get it, right? There's nothing else can happen now. They would get it for sure. Well, they still have to go through the vetting process. Um, yeah. And, and I, I find it slightly... Like, I mean, it's a test for FIFA, right? We can all be cynical about this, haha. So two things have to happen. One is their bid has to essentially be approved. And part of the bid is about infrastructure and whatever, which they'll have no issue with, and hotel rooms will just build more hotels and they've got plenty of years to do it. The other one is about human rights. Um, yeah. FIFA wrote human rights requirements into their own rules. Human Rights Watch pointed this out, Amnesty pointed this out. Uh, I am not enough of an expert yeah. on those rules and on the situation in Saudi Arabia right now to definitively say they don't meet those requirements. Uh, but I think I know enough for just from reading papers that I don't think they meet those requirements as they're written and as I interpret it. But yeah. I'm not deciding. FIFA's deciding. What Saudi can say is, hey, 2034 is in 11 years. Our country's changing. We're a very young country. We might be in an entirely different place in 11 years' time. And that obviously opens up a whole other thing. Um, so as Australia dropping out, we, we said this before, right? The only way that there was going to be another bid, and I think it might, might have been kind of neat, would have been, you know, uh, like Australia country, with New Zealand, yeah. with Indonesia maybe, with others in the region, spread it out that way. You could have put together, I think, a viable bid. But I go back and I plug my own column on this. Yeah. I think going forward, FIFA are under so much pressure to make money that... World Cups will only be held in for the foreseeable future. I mean, the bulk of the World Cup, obviously, in North America, Europe, or Asia, because right now that's where all the money is. And summer World Cup or winter World Cup in Saudi Arabia? Surely, summer is it's the same issue that we had in Qatar, right? Who knows? By twenty thirty four, honestly, who knows what global warming will be no, like I in twenty thirty four? Who knows what outdoor uh, air conditioning will be like in twenty thirty four? It's so far away. I hope it's not uh, in the winter. A winter World Cup. Sorry, I hope it's not a summer World Cup, and I hope it's not a winter World Cup. Yeah. Uh, so, so. I, uh, no, no, I mean, joking aside, I think the best time to play football um, would probably be October, November. But that would be even more of a disruption. Yeah. So I genuinely don't know. 